is coming from a man who actually took Whiskey's personal life very personal and he said, and I quote, I really hate rubbish. I honestly do. You don't become a father financially alone. You have to be emotionally available for all your kids. Mind you, your favorite child might not necessarily be the one to make you the proudest. Um, and this is just coming from the fact that he posted his son, mm. Zion. Yeah. <laughs> It must be tricky. I, I, I don't know personally anyone who has a lot of kids from a lot of mothers. Um, <laughs> so I can't really relate to the struggle, but I can imagine that it's complicated for we kid. I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm not going to say that I have an. In, I have a. I have an idea of his intentions. That, oh, he's doing it deliberately, or he's not doing it deliberately, or I, I know that I know that when it comes to media pers perspective, to me, it looks like he spends a lot more time with Zion, when I saw that story, that's why I thought like, yeah, actually, I can see why somebody will pick that up. But then after thinking about it, I was thinking, well, maybe he has the best relationship with Zion's mom. Thank you. And maybe the other pe Maybe he's it's always in that city as well. Exactly. So I know that there is a lot of, um, what's it called, complications with that. However, I remember the interview that Bolu, is that his name? Bolu, mm -hmm. yes, Bolu's mom had, and she's tried her best to really not be the person that would talk about, especially since that whole thing. But she was very clear that Whiskey is not very active in Bolu's life like that. Um, so obviously there must be issues and stuff. But does that mean that he's a bad father? I don't necessarily think so. I think baby mama drama and all of that type of stuff is just a lot more complicated than picking a side and who's good and who's bad. Um, even the, the nature of the... I don't think it was supposed to be built like that. You know, you're supposed to have a mom and dad together. Mm. So one, once that is not there anymore, it's complicated. Compli it's yeah. complicated. So yeah. I cannot ask for normalcy when the situation is not normal. But if, if Whiskey is deliberately cutting his kids out, obviously he needs to be chastised for that. Um, this but, man has done it, yeah? Yeah, I mean, and if, if it's, uh, it's just beyond him and, you know, you can't really control mothers and how they want to expose their children to your life. If they don't like the baby mama or they don't like your lifestyle, there's a lot of things that go into that, then it's what it is. I'm hoping, though, the only thing I can take from him that I solely agree with is I'm hoping that they have, these kids have strong mothers to protect them from the fame, from the, like, what we're doing now, even just talking about their lives and having opinions about that. Some people will do it in a more cruel way. I hope that they have mothers that can really build them up for that type of stuff so that they can defend themselves and hopefully they have a good relationship that's enough behind the scenes that we don't know about. I understand that people require balance, especially when it comes to other people's lives. But um, there's a saying that says, you who wears the shoes is, um, is the one who knows where it pinches, right? So, um, and I like the angle you came from as well, that um, the relationship with the other baby mamas matters a lot mm. secondly where is your base right uh, people are saying this because it does photo shoots it goes on concerts and most of these things are in the uk that's where it's been i don't think whiskey has since the lockdown started i don't think it's been in nigeria i think it's been mm. in the uk even when bonner boy went to the uk recently it was with whiskey right and a lot of other stuff that we've seen whiskey so if he's having more interactions with zion at the moment is because that's where it is maybe we should bring up this topic again when he's in nigeria and he's not having interaction <laughs> with bulu atife or when he's Lagos in america or when he's in, in, or when he's traffic. in america and he's not having interactions with ayo mm. do you understand so right now that's where he is so i don't see any big deal in this um, story for here, me so. it reminds me of a blog post i wrote i think last year and this is regarding the decisions we make as adults i mean i'm not knocking anybody down when they are baby mamas or they decide to have baby mamas i mean that's for the men now but i think that it has gotten to that point where we all need to really sit down and think about it are you having baby mamas because it happened that you just have to be a responsible man or you're having it because you think that's the cool thing to do now mm. like you said the dynamics what we understand is that you have a mother you have a father when it is out of that box which nobody's saying it can't be out of that mm. box, but when it is it is definitely complicated so if you're choosing that part are you have you considered the children, um, the children? Mm. have you considered yourself as well mm. because as much as you said balance and we have to bring in balance we are humans mm. how, how much of a balance can, can we really bring so i think that for me i want to 
speak to those of us that do not have children yet or have mm. not entangled yet um when you're going to have make these decisions i'm not saying don't decide to have a child even before marriage i'm just saying really think about it because i don't believe that children pop up like that like you ha it happens because you did not probably take um the necessary steps to avoid it yes um in heat of the moment the pleasure and all that but really think about what you're doing because another life is involved or lives will be mm. involved and that complication is even a big deal for your own mental health, not talk of the children. That's how I feel.